ABC 10 News at 4 starts now. An Encinitas woman is thankful to be alive after a man came into her home and choked her. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kimberly Hunt. A 53 year old was arrested on several charges, including assault with intent to commit a sex crime, false imprisonment and commission of a felony while on bail. ABC 10 News reporter Sophia Hernandez shares his extensive history and what those in the area are saying. Sophia. Yeah, Kimberly, those who live here say that it is shocking. This is a family oriented community where everyone knows everyone. So for something like this to happen here, it's shocking. Wednesday afternoon off this street in Encinitas, a woman was walking her dog trying to go home when a man by the name of Shane Crawford asked if he could use her restroom. The unidentified woman said no, but the sheriff's office says Crawford pushed the woman into her home and began choking her. Alarming. Scary. Cynthia is house sitting for her sister. When she heard what happened, she was shocked. It's very unnerving. Like, this is a safe area. Like, it looks safe. It looks very family oriented. And hearing that this happened a block away or so, <laughs> very, let's say, more watchful of where I'm going. I'm with. Wednesday afternoon, the woman provided a description of Crawford and his car to deputies after someone else in the home was able to kick him out. Deputies found Crawford suspiciously pulling over next to another woman who was jogging. When deputies arrested Crawford, they found condoms in his pocket and discovered he has an extensive criminal history. You see people with their garage doors open all day long. Um, you feel safe. But hearing that something happened, you don't feel safe anymore. A spokesperson with the sheriff's department told ABC 10 News Crawford was previously in prison convicted for robbery. He was also arrested previously for felony theft, battery and narcotics charges. Crawford was out on bail for a recent DUI during Wednesday's incident. The sheriff's department says there are many factors that go into probation requirements and house arrest, which Crawford's court hearings had probably not gotten to yet. As for this neighborhood in Encinitas, they are just glad everyone is now safe. Yeah, very alarming stuff there. And the sheriff's department says that you should always be aware of your surroundings and never be complacent in areas where you feel safest to always make sure that you are looking around, making eye contact with people. And if for whatever reason you are fearful, never go home to make sure that you are asking for help, whether it be out loud or by calling 911 and to go to a public place. Reporting live in Encinitas, Sofia Hernandez, ABC 10 News. All very important advice. Thank you, Sofia.